For today's project, I'll be showing you guys how I made this beautiful one clock for a client from scratch. I took the artwork to a CNC machine and had the artwork cut into the shape that I needed for the wall clock. For those who are based in Kenya, if you're interested in CNC services, I'll put the contact in the description box. This was client's inspiration, but she wanted this wall clock with a different color of the board. For this wall clock, I used a laminated MDF board and after it had been cut, this side turned out. So there are some rough services due to the cutting. So I had to sand off first of all the particles onto the lines. So I had to get rid of the excess MDF particles using a fine sandpaper. Once I was done, I went ahead and sanded the outer part of the wall clock using a um, P120 that's the number of the sandpaper that I had to use on the outer side of the wall clock after I was done I went ahead to the next step which was adding the Roman numbers I had these Roman numbers cut using a laser machine and I used a different material it's called a perspex so it's a white perspex uh, it has a gloss effect so they had to be cut using a laser machine so that it can give a perfectly number or a perfectly smooth finish on the edges so I had to place the number one at a time all around the wall clock after arranging the numbers I then went ahead to glue them down so first of all I had to get rid of the protective film which comes with the perspex it's normally on the back and the front side of the perspex board so I had to remove the paper at first before adding the glue onto them so as to make sure it holds on well onto the MDF boards there's a specific adhesive glue that is used on these perspex but you can use another strong adhesive glue normally which does not react or it does not give a cloudy effect on surfaces you can use also that to stick down the perspex on top of your wall clock you'll be interested in making such wall clock For those who are joining this channel for the first time, my name is Roxy Nimiz. I normally do simple home decor DIYs. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. You're all welcome to my YouTube channel. After gluing down all the numbers, this side turned out and one thing I was happy about this glue, it cures immediately. On to the next part was decorating the wall clock using a jute rope. I got this jute rope from a local deco shop uh, which normally you sell DIY items. I'll put the contact in the description box. So I was trying to hold the edges together using the adhesive glue but it wasn't working. So I had to just cut off that excess part and then still used the adhesive glue to stick down the jute rope onto the MDF board. I was just trying to see if it will work perfectly with the MDF and also the jute rope. So while putting some adhesive glue onto the rope, I noticed that it was reacting with the rope. It was giving a burning effect. It was burning the rope and it made it so hard that it couldn't stick well onto the MDF board. So I just had to cut off that part because it had hardened so bad and then just used the hot glue to stick down the rope onto the MDF board so I'll prefer to use hot glue for this part using the adhesive glue it just reacts with the rope and it won't work perfectly as compared to using the hot glue so I had to rotate the jute rope on this part and by the help of hot glue, it was helping me to achieve the look that I needed to decorate the wall clock. Mm -hmm. 
and to my returning subscribers i'd love to say thank you so much guys for supporting roxy nimis via watching my videos and also sharing them with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed please please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever i post another diy video I only added the jute rope on the top part and also the lower part of the wall clock because this is the design that the client wanted for her wall clock. For hanging purposes, I had to add a hanging bracket on the back part of the wall clock. I had to use a heavy duty hanging bracket because the wall clock was a bit heavy because of the MDF board. I used some adhesive glue and some small screws to hold the hanging bracket onto the MDF board. Onto the last part was adding the clock machine onto the wall clock. If you're interested in such clock machine, I'll put the contact in the description box. I had to add enough space so that the clock machine would fit onto the small opening that had been created with the CNC machine. So that's why I was drilling the hole again so that the clock machine could fit in perfectly there. And then proceeded to add in the arms of the clock machine. And to anyone who is interested in such a beautiful wall clock, I'll put my contact in the description box. If you're interested in one, you can contact me and make your order. There are also other different designs. If you contact me, I'll just share the different designs that you have in store. Thank you. And after placing the battery, guys, you can see the wall clock is working. I had to deliver the wall clock to the client and this how it turned out on her wall let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple diy of a beautiful wall clock that i've just made it's a 600 millimeter diameter you can also custom made according to the size that you want thank you so much guys for watching see you next time for a new diy bye bye